Well, I'm talking Rob Collister, who's got responsibility for motorsport. And uh, th this one's slightly out of date, I know, but it's still one that I'm really intrigued and I've never had time to catch up with you mm. about TT Zero. I mean, I remember the very first one, and people were going, this is crazy, electric bikes, and they couldn't go very far and all that sort of thing. But suddenly, the world's going electric, and you've binned the, the Zero race. Well, we haven't binned it. What we've done is just stopped it for a couple of years, yeah. allowed technology well, to catch up, okay. because you know the number of people that were entering had reduced. Right. It was also putting an additional strain on the marshals, on, on the organizers, on our volunteers, locals, etc. What we want to do is to actually reach out to universities, to schools, to uh, manufacturers, to try and look at different categories of them. So we get a true mm -hmm. zero emission rate. How did it work then? Was a lot of uh, subsidies going on to get these people over? There must be some sweeteners, well, I'm no, guessing. Some what sort. happened originally, we actually put in a, a bounty to, to reach the first 100 lap. Mm -hmm. it, it, the, the actual race itself has been very successful, but the number of entries have, um, have fallen. We also want to, to look at having this true uh, zero emissions, mm -hmm. and that is where technology is. So there's fewer cell, fuel cells. Um, so there's a lot of technology that's coming through. So we need to look at the class, see if we can um, change that class, open it up wider, maybe offer it a new bounty. So instead of having a, the first 100 mile lap, which was done by Michael Rutter, what we're thinking of doing is maybe having a bounty over two laps, but have an average speed of 100 miles an hour uh, throughout that race. What did you say to people who said it devalued the TT win, you know, because it wasn't a real race in, in the sense of there were so few people, as you said, in it, and it was all down to technology rather possibly than... No, I still think you else. have the ability, those riders still have to mm. ride, and I, I think the problem is it's the concept. I think most people with um, petrol heads, as we will call them, there is quite a lot of excitement, the noise, the machine, the, the electric bikes is a completely different concept mm -hmm. and I think from where we were and I, I think the Isle of Man d d did fantastic to achieve that goal of actually got, having lots of headlines isn't it? It time. got a lot of headlines and we're, we're very conscious of that so this is not a case of binning it it's a case of just stopping thinking reflecting it's a hiatus as and it, then <laughs> yes. say, is it and just allow us that time when, to speak okay, to people when's it come back have you got um, an actual schedule or will it just be in the long grass uh, no i'm hoping that we can get this back for 21. oh right so it it gives us that 18 months to speak to as i say the universities colleges and how much do you need to make it right so have you got a, well it's, it's not about how many it's about can we expand this and i think if we expand this mm -hmm. and as i say fuel cells being yeah two laps yeah have a look and see we may get um, a, a complete different class so what you might do is have different so you may have your your electric bikes mm -hmm. you may have your fuel cell bikes you may have steam bikes you steam, may you well say. you just don't know you don't know <laughs> Well, there is. No, there is no. uh, you need to Google it. There is a bike that actually runs on steam That'd and it's brilliant. incredibly fast. Oh, no, no. So there is all these Food different types of technology. Yeah. So what you could do is actually start something um, revolutionary okay. again. But we have your, I mean, who knows what you'll be doing. There'll be mm. elections coming up, all sorts of things. But you, in, in your view, it's coming back. I would like to see it back. Life is not quite the same. Well, you can't give a commitment because no. what we do need to do is rely on these um, manufacturers and the colleges and universities yeah. who have already got the blueprint, should we say, is to develop them and to bring them back. And I think what we need to do is to reinvent it, have that new bounty, maybe over two laps. And because that, you've got to remember, even if you took the, the, the electric bikes now, they can go around the, the course once very fast. You mm -hmm. know, I think that the lap speed now is over 120. But if you actually then take right. that to over two laps, you open up speed, all sorts of can of worms because it could have a pit stop and change their batteries, you see. There's I don't think you'd ever get that. Well, you never know. But what you could do, it would actually really invigor the sort of okay. the visitor experience as well. So hopefully. Pretty I, more than hopeful. I would like to see it back okay. on the schedule for 21.